is expecting you. Go ahead. Commander, apologies for the formality. Good to see you faring so well, Kreisha. How are you and Ridlock? Ritlock's in Grothmar, helping keep tensions down. Good, though. Happy to be out of the office. I'm up to my horns in diplomacy. Truthfully, I'd rather be on a recon assignment, claws caked in something rotten. You're better suited for this work than anyone else in the Legions. Nobody wants the job, and I'm just the unlucky grunt who complained the least when offered it. But I'm keeping another civil war at bay. Which is why I called on you. We weren't the only ones to clean house in the wake of camp, though. Caught wind of the Tyrian Alliance yet? Outside of your letter, it's news to me. Thought so. We're trying our hand at unification, or something like it. Not just the Char, everyone. The demon attacks really put a damper on our post-dragon cycle relaxation. Thankfully, none of us are good at relaxing. Now, if only we could figure out this whole con Ur thing. You'd be great at it. Now, I don't know about that. But better me or Ephraim than someone like Bangar. But, but enough talk. That seat will remain vacant. As for now, consider this your invitation on behalf of the Char. Queen Jenna called us to action rather suddenly. I expect something interesting is brewing. She asked me to give this to you. Politics. Ugh. Hold it. Name. Commander. Over here. Hmm. That you are. Didn't recognize the face at first. Fought alongside you during Scarlet's attack. Go ahead. Don't mind me, just being cautious. A lot of big names in this building. It's a big job. Anise could form a new warband. No less cramped than any of Asha's hidden outposts. Delegates and leaders are still arriving, but the turnout is impressive. My surprise is agreeable. <laughs> and nerve wracking. Everyone is comforted that you're joining us. You command quite a bit of respect here. Not all of us do the same. Don't make me regret my decision. You're modest. Save that irascible demeanor for negotiations, Imperator. Go on. Mingle. As soon as a few more arrive, we'll get started. Counselor Ludo, that's a lot of paperwork for one Asura. Couldn't get a single one of those old sacks to put down the gavel and at least try to make friends. He did send me with a giant pile of paperwork, though. That's what I'd like to call the Asurin hello. Nonsense. Most of it. Cantha is revealed. And if not for copying Asurin ingenuity, they'd still be decades behind. But we can't hide in our labs. Huh. Best work is always done in the field. I certainly do hope that you are correct. Commander! Bram. Healing, I hope? Bram is representing Cragstead. 
Acting as my own advisor. Advising on what? Terrible haircuts? Gawk all you need. I went home for a while after. The whole thing was an accident. One day I'm patching homesteads and caring for lone wolf pups. The next I'm... Well, here. You? Leading an entire village. <laughs> I'm impressed. He's modest. He proved to be the leader Cragstead needed, and irreplaceable while I've helped take on more for Newt. A natural leader, oh boy. Stop. I'm glad for you, Bram. Air would be proud. Commander, good to see you. Stuffy. Certainly beats interrogations and trial preparations. Bangar? Who else? We'll save that headache for opening remarks. I'm eager to put it behind us. Has it made things easy, though? The Dominion lives. Their numbers are just depleted. Traitors. All of them. Kate. Commander, I'd heard you'd been invited. Glad to see you again. Kate is joining me as counsel. We've both a stake in seeing our people thrive after everything we've endured. Mordromoth was a monster. How are you doing after Aurene? Some days are melancholy, but she still guides me. I'm needed by my people. That has given me purpose. That they do. Kate has been vital in our pursuit of healing. We've all experienced a bit of an identity crisis after Maguma. We're well on our way, but we've problems to solve for yet. You'll get there. Hello again. It is a genuine pleasure to see a familiar face in unfamiliar lands. Welcome, Commander. I'm glad to finally have a meeting under less dire circumstances. An empress and a queen. Dangerous combination. Queen Jenna has been instrumental in Kantha's integration. I'm eager for these meetings to commence. All I've done is make introductions. With every trade organization and leader between the Shiver Peaks and the Unending Ocean. Such modesty. I'm hoping that today is productive, if not educational. The latter, I can promise.
by Countess Anise, liaison to Queen Jenna of Krita. Call all representatives of the Tyrian Alliance to Council. Please, to your places. We've quite a bit to cover. First and foremost, the Pact and Order send their regards. Structural changes have them occupied. But with that aside, the founding members have come prepared with opening statements. Affirmations of why we're here. As our mutually elected emissary, Commander, would you like to determine the order of operations? What qualifies me to make that call? You've had a hand in just about everything Tyria has endured since the retaking of Claw Island. We approve. I imagine the Pale Mother supports this notion. Sure, have at it. I am Firstborn Dagonet. Keith and I have ventured from the Grove to represent the Silvari. The Pale Tree sends her regards. Her healing has been a slow process, but her spirits remain bright and focused on our growth. Our people experienced a deep wound when Mordremoth rose and fell. As a people, we have many questions about where we come from, what purpose we serve following the Elder Dragon's death. Who are we as a society? Many have decided to leave our home in search of these answers. Finding direction and purpose, that is our focus. As the Pale Tree heals, so do the rest of us. Krisha, Imperator of the Blood Legion and elected representation from the Char. I'd be lying if I said tensions weren't high at the Citadel. With Bangar's trial nearing, another civil war isn't impossible. Even behind bars, Bangar commands respect from his most loyal. Although weakened, the Dominion is still a threat. However, the Imperators are mostly aligned. Imperator Malice of the Ash Legion joins me today in support. Ephraim sends his. You may have heard the whispers. But there are calls for another Khan Ur to rise. The Imperators don't disagree. But the Trial of Embers will wait. Until we've decided Bangar's fate. That is our first priority. Counselor Ludo of the Arcane Council. I'll keep it brief. As you can observe, I am the only present representative from the Council. We are... Experiencing growing pains. Cantha's prowess threw us for a loop. I may be alone in this thinking, but <laughs> about damn time. For a long while, the Council has lazily relied on Asurin Magitek superiority. We've become complacent, our research secondary. I, and a few others, have been advocating for a more productive integration into the global sector. No disrespect intended, but Kantha's advancements on our designs? Well, frankly, it's insulting. Our knowledge is still unmatched. An interesting choice of words. Know that I enjoy competition. In fact, I encourage it. As do I. My first significant motion on the Arcane Council has been to eliminate any restrictions on admittance into the Asuran Colleges. Our next focus will be on Global Equitable Information Exchange. That's all. For now. I am Scotty, son of Newt Whitebear. Since his best. Old man just can't say no to a good brawl. <laughs> Expected to heal just fine. Just as our people are healing. Unsure of how to approach the spirits, how we can help them, 
If we can help them. The Silvari share in your pain. The Pale Tree. That's been a process. Aye. Looking ahead has been our focus. Our scouting parties have returned to the far north to explore the villages and homesteads cut off from Holbrook for decades. We've also got eyes on the sons of Svanir. Rather, what remains of them. Most fell with Jormag. Those that remain... broken. Lost. If we can offer any rehabilitation, we will. But we won't welcome more violence to Holbrook. Esteemed leaders, I am thankful to have met a few of you before. Queen Jenna has made many of these introductions. For those of you I have not met, I am Empress In of Kantha. I was advised to send a liaison in my stead, but I wanted to show the face of the Empire. Kantha's integration into Tyrian politics has not been swift or easy. But it is considered our greatest priority in the wake of the Elder Dragon event. Our people are largely united in wanting, but like all nations, an underbelly of resistance remains. However, I want to pull us from the murk and into the light. Canthus technologies are vast, some might say superior, and I firmly believe that we offer something unique. <laughs> And clearly share similar passions with our neighbors. Together, imagine what we could accomplish. While we are focused on diplomacy, we've had a secondary goal of enlisting archivists from across continents. Our libraries and history texts are woefully dated. My queen. Thank you all for your remarks. We gather on mutual ground as allies. For some, friends. We suffered the Elder Dragons. We saw a new Elona and Kantha. We've endured much. But now, Tyria has the promise of tomorrow. The last decade was cruel, but standing united today shows promise that my father only dreamt of. However, it is not on kind terms that we gather. The Alliance was formed as a reaction to a new threat. Almost a year ago now, demons attacked our villages and farmlands. Your cities and homes. Forty-eight dead in the mountains. An entire village burned to the ground. One attacked the grove. Two. Just outside the gates of Rata Novus. They stank. No casualties should be accepted. These attacks were calculated, I've heard. Our perpetrator? The Cryptus. Cryptus? And what exactly are these cryptus? Where did they come from? The more pertinent question, how did the Queen discern this information? Tone! I've dealt with an Emperor's horde of petty banter, so I pivot. Queen Jenna, care to elaborate? This information is as novel to me as it is to the Alliance. I've heard rumors of your trustworthiness, Your Majesty. No hyperbole until the Queen has spoken. I see the triviality of Tyrian politics has not ceased its endless parade. Shall we have a mature discussion? Introducing a representation from the Astral Ward. Iskarin. Iskarin. I apologize for my friend's theatrics. And Frode. Warden of the Astral Ward. What's going on, Jenna? Answers. Queen! If you wish to leave with all your limbs intact. Calm, all of you. Uh, and I thought the war bands needed babysitting. Frode, was it? Indeed. Admittedly, I expected worse. 
Wayfinder. Under duress, as always. Wayfinder? Ah. Should have known you had a leg in this race. I'll try talking to them. as they'll ever be. Get to the point. They thrive on the brink of chaos. They've all endured enough trauma for a lifetime. Patience. If we're measuring trauma in lifetimes, they wouldn't compare. Thank you for allowing us the time to speak to you all today. I apologize for the Dramatic entrance. Again, I am Frode of the Astral Ward. Frode? I've heard that name. The Ward has been cloaked in shadow for centuries, protecting you from threats unknown and unlike the Elder Dragons. The Cryptus. The source of our demon infestation, I take it? Beings of the Mists who are no longer a problem. Not right now. Our Wayfinder, your commander, can speak to that. I joined their fight. The Cryptus have been... contained. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some still attempted to breach our realm, but they aren't organized. He speaks truth, as the commander can attest. Hesitant trust is advised. Isgarin revealed himself to me not long before he revealed himself to all of you. The Cryptus are harbingers of what may come next, from the mists. And you say they're no longer a threat, Wayfinder? I've been to their realm myself. They've been stabilized. When Su Wong passed, Tyria's essence bled into the veil beyond the mists. You are... <clears throat> we are no longer shielded by her power. Every eye turned toward us in that moment. And likely more, we glow brighter than we did before. Tyria is a unique world, coveted by those beyond. To summarize, our demons are Cryptus, and you two, the Astral Ward are some sort of secret organization that fights them? Not just Cryptus, but any intruder from another realm. We've certainly faced other threats that were not born of Tyria. Why didn't you reveal yourself sooner? Or help us with the Elder Dragons? I will answer all of your questions. But this is not the right venue. I'm inclined to agree. Whatever this information is, I gather it's sensitive in nature. I imagine the room needs a moment to reflect. Shall we pause and reconvene in smaller council? After our councils have ended, I will speak with any of you. Whatever questions you may have, I will try to answer them.
Commander, with us. We'd like to continue the conversation. So you've met before. Anise introduced us. Their friendship was just as much a surprise to me. We sought another ally ahead of the Forum. We've known it was time to reveal ourselves to the world. Figured this would be better than a more public spectacle. That inclination isn't wrong. Why now, though? The Cryptus may be controlled, or, or contained, but my words should cause fear. Tyria is as blood in water. And what exactly is attracted to that blood? Any number of beasts and beings. I've no reason to think we're in imminent danger. But I suspect something draws closer. And we all need to prepare. The Astral Ward is ready to help in any way we can. So you've numbers then? Some. Fewer after the Cryptus. We bled on the edge of that blade. What do you propose we do? Focus on your affairs. We'll get nowhere without some degree of control. Your nations are fragile still. Here. Nourish. We'll be establishing pacts with our neighbors. I suggest you do the same. Wise. On that subject, I'd like to offer some information on the Isle of Janthir. Janthir? A storm looms over that place. Blood. That is not a territory I wish to cross. I don't expect you to, but we may find more allies throughout those lands. The Lowland Coden. My father spoke of them briefly. He left their territory untouched. Those are bonds I have not maintained. I imagine there's more to this suggestion, Isgarin? We should speak within thicker walls. Yes. Wayfinder, I don't think anyone here would be better equipped to help form these bonds. You are not only a representative of the Astral Ward, but of Tyria. Look around this room. Take it in. I could support that notion. Yes. Utilize Moon Camp. It's only kicking up dust otherwise. We'll send more to your aid. All your aid. The ward will establish a gateway between our outpost and the human city. With the Queen's blessing. Blessing granted. I support this and you, Commander. Now is the time to fortify. The Countess will meet you in Divinity's Reach. My people have recently begun early exploration of Dislana. The Dragon Brand is weakening, all these years later. Dangerous place, rampant with harpies. I don't see them helping us. Perhaps the Hecate? I've only been to the ruins of Farner, parts of Corna. I should visit more of Alona. When you call Dislana dangerous, what do you mean? You've been to the best tourist attractions, at least. You should visit. Dislana is taxing. Harpies are dominant, which makes it hostile territory. But my people used to hide in the mountains. We have records and rumors of temples, settlements. I don't know if anything waits for us there, but it's worth looking. Sounds like the Greater North. Homesteads long displaced by Jormag's storm. No telling if there are any survivors. We defeat the Elder Dragons and this is our reward. The scraps of what used to be. Look at them over there. Can I assume they're scheming? No, Counselor. Assumptions are very often incorrect. We'll have plenty of time to ask our questions. And I have some for you, as we were tasked. Before the Arcane Council, my research says that you were the Dean of Statics. I am the Dean of Statics. If I dedicated all of my time to the Council, my brain would melt and drip onto the floor. Talented and busy. 
You remind me of my sister. Say, you and I should plan a visit. We're supposed to be making friends after all. I would love to host you in our labs. I'm very curious to see how they stand up to such a precise eye. If they stand. I would love to give you my assessment, Empress. And I'm also happy to waive my consultation fees in good faith. Good faith indeed. I see you two are getting along. I've witnessed cleaner executions. Kreisha, I think I'm going with the commander to Janthier. I feel a professional pull. Have little intel on that location, or these Coden, and it feels vital. Or intriguing, at least. An Imperator leaving her post to get her claws dirty. Care to steal my mate, too? <laughs> Go. Be our eyes. I can cover for us. I'll see you there, Commander.